Hey, my prospective master's students who would like to study a data science master's program. Today's episode is for you. We're going to talk about the top five colleges in US, not particularly in the ranking order, but what we think are one of the best colleges across the country and what are the programs they offer in data science. So get set, go. All right. So the first university we're going to talk about is the Harvard University which uh, needs no introduction there. Located in the beautiful cold city of Boston in Massachusetts, it's a private university, ranked in the top three universities around the world, in fact. Graduation rate of 97%, acceptance rate of 4%. So what does Harvard offer in data science? So this is an on-campus program, full-time program. This is not a hybrid or online program, so just make it very clear. It offers a program for the data science with 12 courses, with four core courses, two research, and six electives, which can be paired with the core courses. We're not going to go into the details, but you can look into the website. But it talks about big data, data mining, AI, machine learning, predictive modeling. Very important thing, and some of the people would like to learn that into details, which can be, uh, which you can see, get in the Harvard University, and data visualization. A uh, thesis is required, and if you don't like to take GRE, bad news, this requires GRE. It's not an optional. The tuition is on the steep side, approximately $90,000, $92,000 for the whole program. That makes it one of the most expensive courses we have known for the data science. But if you have been following our channel, there is an alternative online master's in Harvard for data science, which costs 60% less than that. Make sure to follow our uh, site there and search on the for the blog there. We will post the link for that program in the in our in this uh, video below, so you would be able to find that op alternate option there. But if you want to go into the Harvard campus and study, then yes, this is the program you are looking at with this cost here. The second university is the Yale University, located around 200 uh, 150 miles from Boston, which is in Connecticut, uh, in the city of Hartford. Uh, Yale is again a private university with a very high graduation rate of 97% and acceptance rate of 9.6%. Offers an MS program in statistics and data science. And as you can see, since it talks about statistics, it emphasizes a lot on the data side there, which is of course going to be your core uh, th uh, in the, this data science master's program there. Uh, so it talks about uh, data science, data analysis, visualizations of various tools that can be used and it integrates mathematics, statistics, and computer science. Uh, this is an eight to 12 course there with the electives, uh, the core and electives. Takes two years to complete in full time. Thesis not required, and GRE scores are also not required for this. That makes you happy? Probably yes, all right. So the tuition is around $47,000, which is close to 50% of Harvard University. And if you do not like GRE and don't want to spend that much money on Harvard, maybe this is for you. All right, now jumping from East Coast to the West Coast, all the way to the beautiful state of California in the Sacramento is a Yale University, the Stanford University. I apologize. Private University, graduation rate of 96%, acceptance rate of less than 4%. And Stanford offers um, MS in Statistics and Data Science, which is uh, 45 units. Don't get confused by the number of units. It's still a two-year course. Thesis is not required, but GRE scores are required. Uh, and as you, if you have known that Stanford is a very competitive program like Harvard, so just a very good GRE course along with a great statement of purpose will be might be required for you to make a cut into this. So 45 units. Uh, the courses are about mathematical and statistical and scientific computing, some software development, machine learning methods and application, and uh, some data science electives. The tuition is around $59,000, uh, give or take, which is for two years and makes it a little more expensive than Yale and uh, cheaper than Harvard. Now jumping back to the New York City from West Coast, we have the Columbia University, which is ranked fourth uh, in the top universities in the Albany. And uh, this is uh, this is wrong here. I apologize for that. This is actually city of New York, not Albany. Uh, this is a private university. 
with a graduation rate of 95% and acceptance rate of 7% there. So Columbia University's MS in Data Science is uh, algorithms, complex data sets, uh, practical training through Capstone Project. Again, so Capstone Project, if you don't know, that's a real world experience project. And uh, Columbia puts a great emphasis on the Capstone Project there. 12 courses, nine credits for computer science, some electives around statistics there, and uh, total 21 credit hours to complete. Again, it's a two year program. Thesis is not required and GRE scores are optional. But optional doesn't mean that if you have got a good GRE course, you should not submit. Being a very competitive entrance to the Columbia's master's and MBA program, we will recommend, and this is not from industry, this is our advice, we will recommend that you give a, take a GRE course if it says optional, unless it says no GRE at all. Tuition around $50,000 there. And uh, that's also kind of a more or less on the same price as Yale University. All right. University of Chicago. Now we went from east and west to the all the way to the north there and located in Springfield, Illinois. Private university, acceptance rate 86, uh, acceptance rate 8%, graduation rate of 86%. What does the University of Chicago has to offer? A master's program in applied data science with 12 courses. Uh, it's an in-person track there. Yes, as we know that these are all in-person programs. And uh, then you have got seven core, three elective, two capstone. Thesis is required. GRE scores are not required. Tuition is around $67,000 there. So that is all the five colleges we had to talk about today. Now let's look at a comparison chart, which you think is going to make picture a little clear for you. So you have Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Columbia, and University of Chicago all ranked in the top six there with MS program in data science. They all take two years to complete. This is a full commitment there. University of Chicago says 18 months, but I, I would still call it around 18 months to two year program here. Uh, thesis is only required for Harvard. Capstone is only at Columbia. GRE differs. Harvard requires GRE and Stanford requires GRE. Yale and University of Chicago do not require GRE there and Columbia is it optional. And you can see Howard is the priciest, which is not a surprise. And others are around in the 40 to 65, 46 to 66 range here. Hope that helps. And uh, if you want to look for online master's program or some affordable uh, data science programs there, be sure to check out our previous videos. We are going to talk about some other data science programs which are GRE optional in the coming few weeks there. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comments and feedback. Thank you.